Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be looking at a system called Black Arch. And Black Arch is one of those uh Kali Linux type things for Arch. So uh you know, for those hackers and things and penetration testing and whatnot. So uh I downloaded this ISO and I got it up in a virtual machine, but before we go there, I want to show you the uh the download page cuz it has a little info right here. So you have a Black Arch Linux 64-bit full, and it's 22 gigabytes. And then you also have the slim version, which is the one I downloaded, which is only 5.5 gigabytes. And then you have the net install, which is 815 megabytes. All right. And we have a little bit more info right here of installing and everything you can do with it. And from installing the full ISO, the slim ISO, ARM edition, things like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and head on over to the uh, virtual machine and uh, take a look at uh, Black Arch Linux. But also one thing to note is right here. It says the default login for all ISOs and OVA is root and Black Arch. So that's something you want to know. So in case you're prompted for a user or a password, the user is going to be root and the password is going to be black arch. All right. So let's head on over to the uh, virtual machine and take a look at black arch Linux. And we are here on the virtual machine right now. And the first thing I see that we're prompted with a login screen, but it's set up as live user. And let's see if black arch is going to be the password. Let's try that. And there you go. We're logged in. So even with the uh, with the live user, the password is uh, Black Arch also. So right here we have a install Black Arch right here icon. So we'll go ahead and open up the Calamari's installer and get it installed. So we can take a look at Black Arch Linux. And it's asking for a, bat a password. So. Give it the password. And the uh, installer has opened up. And my language selected already, American English. But we're waiting for one module. So let's give it a little time, do what it got to do. And we're still waiting. While we're waiting for this, I also want to let you guys know that uh, I have completed the uh, Linux Hub Arch Edition. Uh, I'll put it out for testing so you guys can take a look at it, play around with it, see what it is. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos of how to add this uh, Calamari's installer to a system and other ways of installing it. And after watching countless videos and plenty of tutorials and reading up a lot of documents, I finally, you know, my ADHD finally kicked in and uh, I ended up uh, scripting my own installer. So, uh, in a few days, you'll be able to take a look at it. All right, looks like we're ready now, so let me go ahead and click Next. Uh, America and Los Angeles is correct. Click Next. English default for the keyboard. Click Next. And I'll select here, Erase Disk. Click Next. Enter my user info. And set up a password. And I don't want it to require strong passwords. Log in automatically and use the same password for uh, the administrator account. Click on next. You got your overview of everything that's going to happen during the installation. Click on install and it's off to the races. And we already got our installation failed. The installer failed to create partition on this. Create a new partition. Create a new partition on this. Yeah, just reading up here. All right, so right off the back, we got an error. So what do you say we give it another try? Is there an open as root option? No, but let's try it again. All right, we're going to be waiting again right here. And as I was saying before, I was reading up on a lot of topics on uh, setting up this Calamari installer. And after my head was being wrapped around in circles, 
I just finally scripted my own installer. So it kind of uses the Arch install script, but it's uh it's customized to my own. So you'll see it. You'll see it in a few days. You'll be able to play with it. And right now, if this thing fails again, then I guess we're just gonna do a live CD uh, first look at Black Arch Linux. Because, I mean, right off the back, we got an error when it was trying to install. And this tells me it's gonna error again because usually it doesn't take this long for it to, uh, to get set up and going. So there's something going on in the background that it's not liking and then automatically you could tell that uh, it's fighting with something because it's taking quite a while. Or maybe it could be just, me being impatient, one or the other, but we'll see right now. We'll take a look and uh, see what's going on. Come on, Black Arch. All right, we just passed the 100 second mark, so I don't think it's going to go any further. So, uh, all right, we'll just go ahead and close this down and do a live CD uh, first look. Oh, wait, here we go. Click on next, next, next. Erase disk. I'll do a swap to file. Okay. And it's scanning storage devices. And this is going to take a while again. So, okay. I didn't want to get past this little one section. So, I just closed it. Let's try again. All right, it looks like the installer is going now, so uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video now. When we come back, we should be ready to boot. Hopefully. Cross our fingers. Hope it all goes well. All right, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, it looks like it... Uh, it's all done and uh, it actually installed. So we'll see right now, we'll reboot it and everything. I had to do it a couple of times. And what I ended up doing was uh, I just gave it a long password. I guess, I guess it was just, it was just hard set to have a long password. That's one of these things with these Calamari's installers. They kind of have one of those settings. And uh, I did uncheck the box for uh, making a password, you know, could be weak, but uh, obviously it's still one a uh, complicated password. So that's what I ended up doing. And uh, it looks like it's all done. So let's go ahead and confirm it and reboot. Okay, we are rebooted now. So uh, one of the first things I'm gonna do is uh, I need to fix the screen resolution. So let me get to my settings. It looks like it's a XFCE. So uh, let's try that. Yep, and it is, go to my display. Look for 1920 by 1080, which is right there. Click on apply and keep this configuration. All right, we got a proper resolution here now. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Black Arch Linux. So uh, I didn't read anywhere what desktop it had or anything like that. I just read the info about uh, installations and the ISOs and things like that. So. So you can see here we got the XFCE desktop. At least that's what it looks like. So yeah, it is. You got the whisker menu. You got your system tray right here on the right. You got your desktops all right here. Then you got your menu on the left. So the menu is going to be your uh, whisker menu. And you can see right here you got your favorites, recently used, all applications, settings, accessories. Then you got a folder here that says Black Arch. And I'm guessing this is going to be all your uh, pen testing, uh, pen testing, hacking or whatever administration tools right here. Then you got development, graphics, Internet, multimedia and system. Then you got your uh, settings manager, your log screen and your log out power menu with the search bar right here at the bottom. All right. And this is the whisker menu on XFCE for Black Arch Linux. So let's take a look at our accessories, see what we have in here. 
Got your pretty standard XFCE applications. You got mouse pad, calculator, clipboard, redshift, screenshot, software token. All right, so this is a mouse pad, text editor, pretty standard. Got your file options on top, along with the help, which holds the uh, about. And it is mouse pad 0.6.0. .0. And we also got right here the, the development, which only has CMake. Then we have graphics, which has the Ristretto image viewer. So if you want to take a look at some images or anything like that, do it right here. And the version is 0 0.13.0. And on the internet, we got Firefox and Chromium. Got Hexchat, Wireshark, and your SSH tools. So let's take a look at Chromium. And it's asking for a password or a key ring. So I'll just keep it simple. Go full screen with it. And let's take a look and see what uh, version of Chromium we got. 113.0.5672.63 whatever all that means that's your version of chromium all right before we take a look at black arch let's take a look at multimedia we got parole pulse audio qt so we'll take a look at parole it's kind of similar to a uh, celluloid but the back end of mpv and on the about, it's uh, 4.18.0. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these uh, Black Arch uh, applications and see what they're about. So we got one right here that says automation. And it looks like it's just going to open up another menu. And it does. And we got... Is that CEWL? Custom Word List Generator, Crunch, Mass Processor, RS Mangler, Sackis 3G, all oh, these funny names right here. All right, well, let me click on one of them, see what it does. Opens up a terminal, okay? So, all right. It opens up a terminal. <laughs> Let's go back to Black Arch. Let's click on Bluetooth. See what this does. All right. It says spoof tooth. <laughs> Instead of Bluetooth, it's spoof tooth. And it gives you a little example right here of uh, the options you use. So you just uh, type spoof, spoof tooth dash I dev, and then you add some options. I don't know what these options are, so I wouldn't even know what to put there. But you get a little list right here, like, like dash A is address, dash B is num lines, dash capital B, disable banner for smaller screens, things like that. So it gives you some type of explanation, but it's not really telling you exactly what it does. But uh, let's get back to Black Arch then. That was uh, in the Bluetooth section. Now this is Cracker, so I'm guessing these are just like the crack passwords. Either that or the smoke some crack. <laughs> all right. So yeah, all these pretty much just open up a, a terminal so you could just run these commands. It's pretty much how all, all of these systems work. They open up a terminal and you do your thing. So we got crypto, debugger, defensive, disassembler, fingerprint, forensic, foozer, misc, networking. It's quite a few studying, quite, quite a few things right here. So it, it's set up pretty well. I mean, being that it's it's its own directory and then you have everything in here. So, but like, you know, I don't do this stuff. So, you know, I wouldn't know what it all does. I've never tried to use it. So it is what it is. All right, let's take a look at the settings manager. And right here, if you want to set up your system, it's XFCE basically. So, you know, anything you can do with XFCE, you know, I can do, you can do it right here get it all set up and get your appearance 
your terminal settings, text editor settings, file manager settings, window manager, window manager tweaks, keyboard display, color profiles, power manager, pulse audio, everything. Pretty much anything you want to control your system, you can do it right here. And I don't think there's an about on here, so no need to check for it. All right, so this is a uh, Black Arch Linux, pretty much for all you hackers, pirates. If this is something you want to play with, I'll go ahead and have the links down in the uh, video description. That way you can take a look at it, play with it, see what you can do with it. Like I said, I'm not much of a hacker or never been into that type of things. But, uh, you know, it's something that you can look into, you want to look into, you want to play around with it. And hey, it's here. It works. It looks good. So, uh, Give it a try. All right, that's gonna do it for me on this uh, first look of Black Arch Linux. I downloaded the Slim U uh, ISO, but like I said, there's a 20 gigabyte ISO, which is a full, and then there's an OVA file for uh, virtual machines. All right, and I'm out.